The 2018 inaugural is now called to order. Councillor Manning Martin. Okay, welcome everyone. Happy New Year. Councillor Gould will be notifying the mayor that the council is ready. Councillor Gould. Veterans Council, present the colors, please. Would the police and fire chief please lead the um, council in a Pledge of Allegiance? And we would also like to welcome the Peabody Veterans Council. Welcome, veterans. And our music selection, the Star Spangled Banner, arranged by Jerry Jordan and PVMHS Chorale, directed by John Simmons.
is beautiful. Let's hear it. Thank you, that was a great job. And next will be our invocation by Rabbi Richard Perlman of Temple Nur Tamid. When I was asked to come here this evening and offer the invocation, one of the themes that people asked me for was to bring warmth to the community. And I'm happy to report that today was the first day over freezing in 2018. So we don't have to pray for warmth anymore. We now have to pray for our community. Almighty God, we give thanks, thanks that you provide for the work of your people through the different gifts of the citizens of this city. Help us, O oh Lord, to recognize and act upon every opportunity for service. Guide our diversity by your vision that everything we think, say, or do may be for the common good of your people. O oh God, increase the commitment and energy of our people to desire and work for the good for all that we might be free and that hope may be renewed among us all. Dear God, give us your help to set good examples amongst all of our people to be just and true in all of our dealings, to be strict and to be conscious in carrying out our duties. And let us be gracious and generous and let us be courteous. Let us be courteous towards all. Use us, O oh Lord, as people of peace and people of blessing to one another. And we all say, Amen. Everyone, please take a seat. Would the city clerk please read the record of the election? Election record of 2017 at the municipal election held on November 7, 2017, 8,009. 903 of these cities, 37,121 registered voters, which represented 24%, cast their ballots. The following were elected to their respective offices. Office of the Mayor, two-year term, Edward A. Betancourt, Jr. Councilors at Large, two-year term, Thomas L. Gould, David C. Gravel, Ann M. Manning Martin, Ryan Melville, Thomas J. Rosignol. Ward Counselors, two year term. Ward 1, John G. Turco. Ward 2, Peter M. McGinn. Ward 3, James Matsoulis. Ward 4, Edward R. Charest. Ward 5, Joel D. Sasla. Ward 6, Mark J. O'Neill. School Committee, four-year term, Andrew P. R. Notice, Beverly A. Griffin Dunn, Jared M. Hockman. Municipal Light Commission, six-year term, William C. Aylwood, Thomas M. D'Amato. Trustee of the PVD Institute, six-year term, Sandra J. Fecto, Francis J. Galugi, Kate E. O'Brien, Thomas J. Pappas. Trustee of the PBD Institute, two-year term, Diane M. Gagnon Caputo. Would the city clerk please administer the oath of office to Mayor-elect Ted Betancourt?
Okay, eat food after me. Here we go right here. So we have a map to I. I. I, Edward A. Betancourt, Jr. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. And am partially discharge and impartially discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me and perform all duties incumbent upon me as mayor as mayor of the city of Peabody of the city of Peabody according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability and understanding and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations agreeably to the rules and regulations of the constitution and laws of this Commonwealth of the Constitution and laws of this Commonwealth and the Charter and ordinances and the Charter and ordinances of the City of Peabody of the City of Peabody. So help me God. So help me God. And I do solemnly swear. And I do solemnly swear that I will uphold and defend that I will uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now the city clerk will administer the oath of office to the councilors elect. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Okay. So raise your right hand after I say your name and then just repeat after me. Okay? I. Okay. Do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties in, in, in comment upon me as a city councilor of the city of Peabody according to the best of my ability and understanding agreeably to the to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and laws of this Commonwealth and the Charter and ordinances of the City of Peabody. So help me God, and I do solemnly swear that I will uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me guys. Okay, congratulations. Will the city clerk please administer the oath of office to the school committee members elect? Partially discharge, discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me as a member of the Peabody School Committee as a member of the Peabody School Committee according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability and understanding, and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations 
immediately to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and laws of this Commonwealth. Of the Constitution and laws of this Commonwealth. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Peabody. And the, and the Charter, Charter and, and the Ordinances of the City of Peabody. So help me God. So help me God. And I do solemnly swear. And I do solemnly swear. That I will uphold and defend. That I will uphold and defend. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. So help me God. And next, will the city clerk please administer the oath of office to the trustees of the Peabody Institute Library. Okay. Do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me as a library trustee, as a library trustee of the city of Peabody, of the city of Peabody according to the best of my ability and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations agreeably to the rules yep of the constitution and laws of this commonwealth of the constitution yep. and laws of this commonwealth and the charter and ordinances and charter and, and ordinances. of the city of peabody of the city of peabody so so help me god so help me god and i do solemnly swear and i do solemnly swear that i will uphold and defend that i will uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. So help me God. Okay, congratulations. Yay. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. And saving the best for last, would the clerk please administer the oath of office to the municipal light commissioners? Thomas. Okay. All right, you raise your right hand after I say your name and then repeat after me. Okay. I. William Aylward, Tom. So okay. Bottom. Okay. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge. Yep. And perform all duties incumbent upon me. And perform all duties incumbent upon me as a light commissioner. As a light commissioner of the city of Peabody. As the city of Peabody. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the Constitution and laws. Of the Constitution and laws. Of this Commonwealth. Of this Commonwealth. And the Charter and Ordinances. And the Charter and Ordinances. Of the City of Peabody. Of the City of Peabody. So help me God. So help me God. And I do solemnly swear. And I do solemnly swear. That I will uphold and defend. 
and that I will uphold and defend. The, the Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. So help me God. All right, congratulations. Thank you. It's not easy. Excellent. Let's hear it for our city clerk, Tim Spanos. Thank you, Tim. Great job as usual. Next on the agenda is the election of the city council president. Do I have a motion? Madam Chairwoman, I'd like to make a motion to, to nominate Mr. Edward Robert Charest Ward 4 Counselor, who served uh, for eight years on the school committee and is entering his second term as City Councilor of Ward 4, it be my pleasure to nominate Edward Robert Charest. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Gould. We have a motion on the floor for City Council President Ed Charest. Do we have any other nominations? Being none, I move that we close the nominations. Madam Chairman. All in favor, any opposed? It's a vote. Roll call on the motion. Councilors Charest. Councilors McGinn. Edward Robert Charest. Councilor O'Neill. Edward Robert Charest. Councilor Melville. Edward Robert Charest. Councillor Rosignol. Edward Robert Charest. Councillor Gould. Edward Robert Charest. Councillor Matsoulis. Edward Robert Charest. Councillor Turco. Edward Robert Charest. Councillor Sasla. Edward Robert Charest. Councillor Manning Martin. Edward Robert Charest. The motion carries. Edward R. Charest elected City Council President for 2018. Thank you all. First, I'd like to bring up former Councilor President Joel Sassler. <laughs> On behalf of the Council, we'd love to present this to you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody, and Happy New Year. Mayor Bettencourt. Rabbi Perlman, veterans council members, fellow councilors, other elected officials, and invited guests. One year ago, you put your trust and faith in me to lead the city council. I promised that we would conduct the business of the city in an open and transparent way, and I believe we did. Every person who wished to speak was granted the opportunity. Upon reflection, we have much to be proud of. We finished our centennial celebration in May at the ball in the mall an event many of us attended and thoroughly enjoyed. Whoever thought the mall could look that great. In June, once again, we had the privilege of hosting the 2017 U.S. Senior Open, the Salem Country Club, and sharing what we know our city has to offer to many from around the country and the world. We invested in our infrastructure with newly paved roads, new seating at our high school auditorium, and we put down a beautiful new court in the Peabody Fieldhouse, finished off by a gorgeous Peabody logo, the Bull. Now as we start off the new year, we have much to look forward to. Peabody Square has continued its revitalization and more restaurants and housing is soon yet to come. The Black Box Theater is now within our sight and it's just a matter of time before they have their grand opening. This spring we'll see children play on the fields of the new Higgins Middle School for the first time. 
In Ward 5, I am proud to report that the Bonkers Plaza revitalization is well underway and a brand new Sprint commercial truck dealership on Route 1 is fully under construction. Lastly, as the summer com comes upon us this year, we'll be able to fully enjoy the refurbished Crystal Lake. So as you can see, as usual, Peabody is moving forward. To my fellow counselors, it has been an honor and a pleasure to serve you, and I wish you good luck to the new counselors, Tom Rosignol, Ryan Melville, and Mark O'Neill. To counselors Mark, excuse me, to counselors Michael Garabedian and Barry Sinowitz, thank you for your time and wisdom, and enjoy your Thursday nights. <laughs> to Representative Walsh, continue good luck at the State House. I would also like to congratulate our next City Council President, Edward Terrest, and wish him the best of luck and many enjoyable Thursday nights as well. I would also like to acknowledge the City Clerk's Office and his staff with who, the help they provide the Council, we would not be able to do the work that we do. Thank you to Tim, Colleen, and Allison. <laughs> to the School Committee, the best of success in the upcoming year, and thank you, Dr. Levine, for your leadership and enlightening robocalls. <laughs> I would also like to enthusiastically welcome Karen Murtag as our next superintendent in July of this coming year. <laughs> to our fellow PMLP Lake Plant Commissioners who are loved and endeared by all, the mayor, myself, and the citizens of Peabody have two words, cable TV. In closing, on behalf of my fellow elected officials, I would like to say thank you to our families for their support and allowing us to serve our great city. Thank you to our spouses who answer the phone calls and to our children who sacrifice seeing mom and dad. To my own family, Carol, Justin, Ryan, and Mother Gladys, thank you for the sacrifices made during the last year and for the sacrifices for the upcoming years. I appreciate it. In closing, a healthy and happy new year to everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you and good evening. I just wanted to take a couple of moments uh, and uh, Joel Saslaw introduced them earlier and I wanted to uh, offer on behalf of uh, my office, the City Council and really the citizens of Peabody, I have a plaque and I wanted to recognize the three outgoing City Councilors. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize Tom Walsh. Uh, Tom is a school committee member for four years and has served on the City Council for eight years and has just for all that time been a true leader uh, somebody who looks at each issue in a very um, a strong and thoughtful way, uh, somebody who advocates for what he believes in, and somebody who works extremely well with all the city councilors, school committee members, all of our elected officials. He's somebody who I have deep admiration for, and the good part is that Tom Walsh will be continuing to serve us as a state representative at the State House. I do have a plaque that I wanted to present again on behalf of myself, the city council, and really the whole city for a job well done serving our community on the City Council, Tom. I wanted to... <laughs> Tom didn't know this was coming. But on behalf of the City of Peabody, it is my honor to congratulate you for your hard work, dedication, and commitment on behalf of our citizens. We gratefully acknowledge the outstanding contributions you have made to our city as a member of the Peabody City Council. Please accept our sincere gratitude and best wishes for many years of continued health, happiness, and prosperity. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, fellow city councilors, I'll say that one more time, um, elected officials, family, friends, uh, just to, very quickly, uh, I appreciate this recognition, but really it is all the citizens of this community 
who work so hard. There are members who volunteer their time, who aren't here on Thursday nights, but there are people who get up and meet at 7 in the morning or do all the little things that make this community so great. There's a lot of exciting things happening. We have, I think, a real positive council uh, coming forward, a uh, great school committee, members of the library and, and the light commission, just a, a lot of good people who contribute to the city and make it what it is. So, Mr. Mayor, I thank you, uh, Tim, Colleen, for all the work that the clerk's office does. Uh, they go really un, um, unnoticed a lot, but really they're the backbone to the operation of the city of Peabody. And I thank all of you for your support that you've given me. I loved being a city councilor, and I hope, I hope to continue working for the city of Peabody as your representative, working alongside Representative Speliotis and uh, Senator Lovely. So thank you very much, and enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you again, Tom. Uh, I also wanted to recognize tonight a counselor who has served the residents of Ward 6 and really the whole city of uh, Peabody, uh, Barry Sinowitz. Barry quickly gained a reputation as being a fighter for his neighborhood, uh, for, the, for Ward 6, took on many challenging issues, uh, aggregate industries chief among them. And one thing you could always count on with Barry is that he was going to act on behalf of the residents and fight for what he believed in. Uh, again, somebody I have deep appreciation and respect for. I just wanted to tell this, last night I got a call about, it's probably about 10 o'clock from Barry, and he was calling to report that there was a water break over on Maryville Lane. Barry went to the house, uh, followed shortly thereafter by, by Mark O'Neill, the new Ward 6 counselor, and uh, just continued, just shows what type of counselor Barry was, very responsive, and I wanted to ask Barry to come up and present a and receive a, a presentation from the city of Peabody. <laughs> and I'm going to read this very similar to Councillor Walsh, but I wanted to receive it uh, or, or speak uh, those words to Councillor Sinowitz as well. On behalf of the city of Peabody, it is my honor to congratulate you for your hard work, dedication, and commitment on behalf of our citizens. We gratefully acknowledge the 10 years of outstanding contributions you have made to our city as a member of the Peabody City Council. Please accept our sincere gratitude and best wishes for many years of continued health, happiness, and prosperity. Thank you, Barry. Uh, thank you, Mayor, for those kind words. Uh, it really means a, a lot to me. Um, and I want to congratulate all the newly elected officials uh, for this upcoming uh, term. Uh, and above all, I want to thank the residents of Ward 6 that entrusted me over the last 10 years. And uh, above all, what we try to do is make our community better, and that's what I tried to do. And um, I want to make sure I key in on that word, we, because I'm only an individual. So when I try to get something done, we have this whole city of you know, employees that help us. They make us look great. From the DPW, Board of Health, Building Inspector, our police, our fire. So I'm only one person. We're only individuals. It's working together to make this community better. So thank you. Good luck in Boca. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you, Barry, for a job well done. Um, we've been very fortunate in this city to have a number of elected officials who have served our city for really generations and people who have really made a difference in our community, have made our community better in so many ways. I think of people like Fred Murtag and Mary Wozelchuk and Judy Selesnik and Jim Liakos, uh, Bill Toomey recently passed away, uh, who was just an amazing man, Lou Sosomo people that really left their mark on this city and contributed in so many ways over decades uh, of contributions. And gentlemen, I want to recognize today uh, somebody who's a great friend to me, great friend to the city, uh, somebody who served as a school committee member first for eight years, advocating for new schools, advocating for investment in our school system, and then carried that work over to the city council for the past 16 years. Again, somebody who 
advocated for the neighborhood, advocated for projects, somebody who wanted to see Peabody succeed and worked every day to make that happen. And I wanted to ask Mike Garabedian to please come forward. So Mike, on behalf of the City of Peabody, it is my honor to congratulate you for your hard work, dedication, and commitment on behalf of our citizens. We gratefully acknowledge the 24 years of outstanding contributions you have made to our city as a member of the Peabody City Council. Please accept our sincere gratitude and best wishes for many years of continued health, happiness, and prosperity. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Almost a uh, quarter of a century, man. It doesn't seem like a long time, and I feel like uh, I haven't aged one day, other than my gray hair and half-blind eye, and I walk with a little limp now, you know, but I feel good and moving forward. But I want to thank my beautiful wife back there, who, who every election suffered with me. Every time we went out there to hold signs and do everything, she was there. And without your family support, it's pretty difficult, so... My family's been with me right from the beginning. Uh, as a little advice to the councilors at large, put your phone on forward to the ward councilors. <laughs> they can handle it. They can handle the job. They got elected. But <clears throat> guys, seriously, Peabody is the best city ever. There's no better city to live in. We have a great council. We have a great mayor. We've made leaps and bounds over other cities, and we're moving in the right direction. We have still the lowest tax base. I want to thank the people that have elected me. It's been an honor and a pleasure to represent the people of the city of Peabody. Thank you. Again, thank you, Mike. Being president is an, is an important responsibility on the City Council. They help set the agenda, uh, handle the different hearings and motions, uh, work with the councilors to make sure that those items are moved forward in a responsible and reasonable manner. I want to congratulate Councilor Sasloff for a job well done. Very challenging year, many different issues, challenging issues, and he did an outstanding job. Congratulations, Council. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our new president, Ed Charest. Again, somebody who's quickly uh, gained a reputation for advocating and fighting for his neighborhood. And I think he's going to do a terrific job as the council president. I look forward to working with him. Ed Charest. Thank you very much. Good evening. Mayor Betancourt, Senator Lovely, Representative Walsh, Spiliotis, Governor Council Duff, fellow city councilors, school committee members, municipal light commissioners, library trustees, city officials, and city workers. It is with great pleasure that I stand here tonight. <clears throat> Please, uh, it's dark here, so I can't really see my own writing. <laughs> I would like to take a moment right now to thank Chief Pazin, Police Chief Griffin, Sheriff Carpenter, DA Blodgett, and their members of their departments for all they do to keep Peabody safe. Thank you also to the veterans of an unparalleled over <coughs> commitment to keeping not only Peabody, but the United States as safe as a whole. On one more personal note, I'd like to take a moment to thank my wife Nancy, and my two daughters Samantha and Kelsey, for their unwavering support throughout my tenure as school committee member, city councilor, and now council president. I would also like to thank everyone for the overwhelming support I received in the past election session, <clears throat> and none more than my Columbus Road Village. 
Lately, I, would, <clears throat> I also would like to thank the spouses and the family and children of all elected officials. It goes a lot behind scenes for what they have to do. And without their support, they would not be able to be here today. Their support and dedication is what makes them such a great leader. <clears throat> At this time, it's lived in, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a great time to live here in Peabody. Peabody Pride is alive and well, and it should be. We have many things we're proud of. The execution of the plan to revitalize downtown has brought many new restaurants and businesses to only making CD Peabody a magnet for people to live, work, and play. We also have great pride in the new businesses that have brought opportunities in the spotlight to some of Peabody's most beloved residents, breaking grounds in the black box theater. Peabody is buzzing with energy and excitement. We separate ourselves as a city who not only value our residents, but also truly treasure them as contributions to the, what they made to the city. It's really dark here, I'm telling you. <laughs> recognizing what they do for the, we recognize the opening of Peabody Fire Memorial and the Bob Driscoll Rink. Well, thank you. Couldn't do that a page ago, huh? Uh, just to name a couple of things. The opening of the new state-of-the-art middle school, the largest, largest school in the Northeast, com committed us to children's education and the future of being top priority so that they may that someday may come back to Peabody with bigger ideas and the current imaginations that we have today. Our senior center, a true pillar in our community, continues to thrive and, and in an example of excellence, not only for the North Shore, but for the state. The be best part is just to begin. There is so much on the horizons for Peabody. The continue to work to revitalize Crystal Lake and soon will be coming to completion. Soon Peabody will open the first dog park in Emerson Park, a true gem of the town in which quickly will become a, whole, a hot spot for residents of all kinds. We also look at the additions and improvements of many of the city playgrounds. The re revitalization of downtown will continue to be a priority as it continues to make Peabody a more desirable place to live, work, and play. We need to continue to improve our infrastructure throughout the city to keep up with many exciting projects, sidewalks, street repair, as well as the continuing effort to improve the water pressure are essential to the city's overwhelmed success. One compliment I am most proud of and I have received in the first term of a city council is that it seems that I had a relentless work ethic in order to get the job done. Quite honestly, it's what the Peabody residents deserve. So tonight I pledge as a new city council of president to you to lead the council with the best of my abilities to ensure that this city remains one of the best in the North Shore. I pledge to continue to keep the overall quality of life for all residents a top priority of this council. I pledge to <clears throat> your best interests in the forefront of my mind. I pledge to be a member. I pledge to do remember the little things like returning phone calls from constituents and will continue to return 100% of correspondence I receive, not only from Ward 4, residents, but as your city president, your council president, from all of PBD residents, business owners alike. I pledge to conduct myself in a manner in which you will be proud of, to invite fellow city councilors and elected officials to take this phrase, treat others as you would like to be treated. Because as we all know, it takes a village. I am honored to be your city council president, and I thank all of you for having the faith in me. God bless you, God bless Peabody, God bless the United States. Thank you.
We're now gonna do the drawing for the seat assignments. <laughs> Mr. Spanos. Thank you, Mr. Mayor slash Council President. <laughs> okay, we're going to start. We'll do this in, alph alp in alphabetical order, starting with Councillor Gould. Good. Come on up. Don't be shy. And then you can pick for Councillor Gravel, who's not here. Okay, I will. Okay, so no peeking. Okay. Seat number three. Got it. All right. For Council Gravel. Yes, Seat number ten. Seat number ten. Uh -huh. Okay. Next, Council Manning Martin. Yep. What do you got? Seat number six. Council McGinn. Seat number two, Councillor Melville. Seat number one, still up for grabs. <laughs> what do you got? Hmm? Seat number nine, hmm? oh, Councillor Matsoulis. Seat number five, Councilor O'Neill. What do you got? Seat number one. Ooh, that would be that's <laughs> Councilor Rosick now. Pressure's off now. It's all gravy. <laughs> what do you got? Lucky number seven, Councillor Saslav. No more Council President. What do you got? What do you got? Council number four. And last but not least, Councillor Turco. Uh huh. Hopefully, it's the right number. Number eight. to go to the motion of orders and resolutions, if there's any. Hearing none, hearing none close. Okay. Now we'll do a motion, uh, music selection, Battle Hymn of the Republic.
righteous sentence by the dim and glaring lamps, his day is marching on. And we sing glory, glory, hallelujah, sing glory, glory, hallelujah, sing glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. What a magnificent, magnificent <coughs> performance by the chorale. Thank you. Now we'll go to the organization of the school committee. if the school committee could take the seats for a moment. Just a couple of items we would like to address. Uh, I want to uh, recognize at this time our superintendent, Herb Levine, who is here today. Our assistant superintendent, soon to be superintendent, Kara Murtag. Our business manager, Jared Stanton, is here today. Um, Steve Farrell, our human, uh, human resources director, is here as well. Thank you for being here. Uh, we work extremely hard on the school committee. Very proud to serve with this group, and we have some tough issues ahead of us. Uh, but very honored to be a part of this outstanding group. Uh, we do have some, yep.
And welcome, Mr. Arnotis. You're going to do a great job for us. I know you will. Um, I'd like to, yes, a round of applause. I, I uh, would first like to entertain a motion to, for adoption of our bylaws for the school committee. This is done. I'd like to make a motion that the school committee approve the bylaws for the year 2018. So we'll. Thank you. You've heard the motion by Mrs. Dunn. Is there a second? Second. Sec second by Mrs. Carpenter. Roll call vote for adoption of our city bylaws. Yes. 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 Okay, I'd like to now do our seat assignments. And uh, if we could have Mr. Amico first. Three or four. Seat number one. Mr. Arnotis. Yeah, let's go with number five. Mrs. Carpenter. Okay. Seat number three, Mr. Hockman. Okay, seat number four. Mrs. Dunn? Can't you just feel the tension? Oh. <laughs> and Mr. Olympio, I'm hoping this is seat six. Seat six. If, if it's not, that's what it's going to be. Two. Sounds good. <laughs> seat two. Okay, and now we will open it up for nominations for the position of vice chair. Mr. Amico. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through the chair, I'd like to nominate my colleague and my friend, John Christopher Olympio, to vice chairperson for 2018. So moved. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Amico. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, we have the motion by Mr. Amico, seconded by Mrs. Dunn for appointment of Mr. John Olympio as the vice chair for 2018. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Amico. John Christopher Olympio. Mrs. Carpenter. John Christopher Olympio. Mr. Hockman. John Christopher Olympio. Mr. Arnotis. John Christopher Olympio. Mrs. Dunn. John Christopher Olympio. Congratulations, Mr. Olympio. Thank you. <laughs> Next, I would entertain uh, nominations for the position of secretary for the school committee for 2018. Mrs. Dunn. Mr. Mr. Chairman. I would like to put into nomination for the secretary our member Andrew P. Arnotis. Thank you, Mrs. Dunn. Any other nominations? Hearing none, you've heard the motion by Mrs. Dunn, seconded by Mr. Hockman for the appointment of Mr. Andrew Arnotis as the school committee secretary for 2018. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Amico. Andrew P. Arnotis. Mr. Olympio. Andrew R. Arnotis. Ms. Carpenter. Andrew P. Arnotis. Mr. Hoffman. Andrew P. Arnotis. Mr. 
Notice is done. Andrew Peter, our notice. Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you, and I'd open it now for any other motions to be made. Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Great. Thank you, school committee members. I look forward to working with you in the year ahead. If the city council could please take their seats. Just like to take a moment to acknowledge David Gamash and Barry Osborne, two former retired counselors who are with us tonight. And at this time, it gives me great pleasure to announce Ted Betancourt, the mayor. Thank you. Well, thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Well, good evening, Rabbi Rick. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being out today on this cold night uh, to celebrate our government as we move forward in the year 2018. I am privileged to be here with you this evening to begin my four, fourth term, which is, feels amazing for me to say, as your mayor. Let me start by recognizing my beautiful wife, Andrea, our three daughters, Taylor, Allie, and Avery, and the newest addition to our family, Brady. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is the first time we've had a high chair in, at City Hall during the inaugural address. And I'm hoping, I, I figure it will be a good speech if he doesn't cry at some point during this speech. So I'm gonna try to keep it short. I think it was 14 minutes. Last year my daughters timed me, I didn't do very well, so I'm gonna try to keep it to 14 minutes. Uh, but I'm very blessed to have the love and support of my family. As has been said tonight by a couple of counselors, it's really impossible to, to make this job work and to be effective. Uh, without their love and support, allowing me to do the job that I love. I want to thank my parents, Eddie and Barbara, who are here today. My sister, Karen, who's an amazing lady. Karen works for the state, uh, for the Department of uh, Children and Families, and she works to recruit and train foster parents. Uh, much needed, blessed work that she does. Uh, thank you for being here to my sister, Karen. <laughs> And I appreciate my Uncle Danny being here as well. Thank you, Uncle Dan. <laughs> I wanted to honor and recognize some of our distinguished elected officials. Some of them have been, been mentioned tonight, uh, but I really appreciate them being here today. Their appearance here means a lot. Their support uh, means a lot to us. Our outstanding district attorney, uh, Peabody's own John Blodgett. Thank you, John, for being here. Our excellent state delegation, Tom Walsh, our state, Tom Walsh, our, st our state representative works extremely hard for us, Ted Spiliotis. Thank you, Ted. I did receive a call shortly before coming here tonight from our Senator Lo Joan Lovely. She's been here at every event. She was unable to make it today, but she offered her best wishes to all of us. And uh, I wanted to thank Jay Ash. Jay is the Massachusetts Secretary of Housing and Economic Development who's here today. Thank you, Jay, for being here. Support us. Uh, 
Again, thank you all of you for your, art, your friendship and for your ongoing commitment to the city of Peabody. To the members of the City Council, School Committee, Electric Light Commission, and Board of Library Trustees, thank you for your willingness to put your name on the ballot and to work so hard on behalf of our fellow citizens. It's not easy being elected officials. It takes a lot of courage, and I appreciate each of you taking that step and working to make a difference for the City of Peabody. A special thank you tonight to all of our department heads and city workers for everything you do to help move our city forward. So many of them are here today. These talented, hardworking men and women dedicate their professional lives to public service. The recent snowstorm provides a great example of their dedication. Many of our Department of Public Services workers logged double and triple shifts during the past four days. Although there are areas that need improvement, certainly, overall, I believe they did an outstanding job for our city during extremely challenging circumstances. I also want to acknowledge the hard work of our water department. Arctic cold temperatures resulted in multiple water main breaks throughout the city. One last night, as I mentioned earlier, after 10 o'clock. Water department crews responded to each one, working in trenches in extreme conditions to repair the breaks and restore water services as quickly as possible. Um, I know some of the members are here today. I don't want to mention them by name, but please join me in a round of applause for all of our hard workers. I see Dave Terenzoni, our director, and Kevin Kelly, our assistant director. Thank you, guys. I also want to thank the many volunteers who serve as members of the various city boards and commissions. Your work plays a critical role in city governance, and we are most grateful for your service. To our military veterans and their family, we're blessed to have so many here today with us. Thank you for your service to our great country and for helping to keep us safe and free. Thank you as well to the men and women who serve our community as police officers and firefighters. You answer the call to protect your fellow citizens and we are forever grateful. When I was first sworn in as mayor in 2012, I shared a vision for Peabody which included a growing economy, great schools, safe neighborhoods, and a good affordable quality of life for our fellow residents. In setting forth an agenda for my administration, I strive to be ambitious and optimistic, befitting a city built by the ambition and optimism of generations who came before us. I sought to be a problem solver because a city this size has its fair share of problems to solve and I sought to renew the Peabody pride which so many of us experienced growing up in this wonderful city. Working together with so many of you here tonight during the past six years, I am proud to report that we have made remarkable progress towards this vision of a better Peabody. In six short years, we have revitalized key sectors of our local economy, increased our investment in education and public safety, and helped make Peabody an even more desirable place to live, work, and raise a family. And we have done it all without sacrificing the affordability which Peabody has long been recognized and, ad and admired. To help restore our city's stat stature as a driver of the region's economy, we immediately set our sights on revitalizing downtown Peabody. Once a hub of people, culture, and commerce, and the center of civic life in our community, downtown Peabody has struggled for decades to carve out an identity of its own. In the past six years, however, the downtown has undergone a dramatic makeover. Beginning in 2013 and concluding last year, we leveraged two state MassWorks grants to redesign Main Street and Peabody Square, to create additional parking, improve pedestrian safety, and make the entire area more attractive to business and residential development. All told, we invested nearly $6 million in state and local funds to improve our downtown infrastructure an amount few cities and towns can, our size can boast. This targeted use of state and local funds to attract private investment is paying significant dividends. The most recent example is number one Main Street, a building that has been largely vacant for decades. Historically known as the O'Shea, O'Shea Building, the new owner of the property, Pat Tedisco, is building 21 units of much needed apartment 
housing in the upper three floors of the structure. The first floor, as many of you know, will be home to the all new Brody's Pub. Work is already underway and I have seen the plans and they are amazing. One Main Street is exactly the type of combination residential and commercial development that helped revitalize downtown Beverly, Salem, and Danvers in recent decades and will likewise help downtown Peabody to thrive in the years ahead. In addition to the new Brodies, the return of Brothers Deli after a 17 year absence from our city, Breaking Grounds Coffee and our outstanding roster of existing downtown restaurants, there is more good news coming to Main Street. A new Mexican restaurant, La Siesta, plans to open this spring at number three Main Street next to the future Brodies. This is another, another property that has been vacant for several years and which contains a residential component on its upper floors. Local favorite, the Next Mex Thing, looks to expand their operation, moving from next door to 75 Main Street across from the main library and right next door to the proposed site of Peabody's first ever brew pub, Granite Coast Brewery. These new establishments will create dozens of new jobs, tens of thousands of dollars in new tax revenue for the city, and will dramatically improve the appearance of the Main Street landscape with new facades and sidewalk amenities. To help further showcase the improvements we've made downtown, our visionary Peabody Main Streets organization has hosted several very successful pop-up events, including pubs, block parties, and dinners in the park. Not to be outdone, the annual International Festival drew a record crowd to Main Street and Peabody Square this past fall. A new initiative this year is a focus on bringing performing arts to downtown Peabody. Thanks to our exceptional partnership with the Northeast Arc and its team of dedicated fundraisers, many of whom are here tonight, the Black Box Theater will soon open as downtown Peabody's newest cultural attraction. In partnership with the Peabody Cultural Collaborative, we will expand our performing arts program here at City Hall as well to include concerts and other performances to attract visitors downtown. We have invested in state-of-the-art audio and visual equipment, apparently except for President Charis microphone, <laughs> for the Wigan Auditorium and will soon embark on renovations to the historic and beautiful auditorium ceiling. You'll see some of the areas around the corners of our ceiling are starting to, to wear down. We'll be doing some plastering and touching up this beautiful building. I am very excited tonight to share with you our plans to build a statue in honor of our city's namesake, George Peabody. The statue will become the centerpiece of a new green space right next door to City Hall, which will take the place of the building that currently houses Brody's Pub. Although some in our community cautioned against any attempt to revitalize downtown Peabody, others demonstrated the courage and vision to challenge conventional wisdom. Although much work lies ahead, Downtown Peabody stands on the cusp of an historic revitalization. Thank you. As you know, our city's commitment to education was on grand display last year with the opening of the new Higgins Middle School, a $92 million building project which came in on time and on budget and is now considered a model for cities and towns across Massachusetts. The project's final phase, the new James Rice Memorial Fields, will open later this year and provide much needed play space to generation, generations of Peabody athletes. This past summer, Peabody High School underwent, underwent a major renovation with the installation of a new roof, improvements to the auditorium, including all new carpeting and seating, and a new floor surface for the gymnasium. A second phase of auditorium improvements is being considered as part of our capital budget planning along with long overdue enhancements to the upper sports fields at Peabody High School. The past couple years have brought a renewed focus on science and technology in the classroom. We as a school committee city council led by our leaders in the school department invested $500,000 to introduce the renowned FOSS science curriculum to grades K through 12 this year, including a new biology curriculum at the high school. This new curriculum emphasizes hands-on lab-based learning and has helped spark the imagination of so many future scientists. 
Again, I want to thank our superintendent, Herb Levine, incoming superintendent, Kara Murtag, and the school committee for, the, for their advocacy and forward thinking on behalf of our students. Thank you. Before I leave the subject of education, I want to provide you with an update on our city's Chromebook initiative. To assure that our students have access to the very latest in 21st century learning technology, we endeavored a couple years ago to be able to provide every student from grades 6th through 9th grade with a Chromebook and equip every 4th and 5th grade classroom with a Chromebook cart. Well, we have met that challenge and even went above and beyond that stated goal. This year, we were able to expand the program to include 10th graders, and our aim and plan is to include 11th and 12th graders in the next two years, so that two years from now, each 6th to 12th grader will have their own Chromebook here in the city of Peabody. It's really a remarkable accomplishment. Very few have that. Very few cities and towns can boast that. Also next fall, it is wonderful to be able to say, every elementary school grade will be equipped with Chromebook carts in all of our eight element elementary schools, not just grade four through five. Every grade classroom will have a Chromebook cart in the city of Peabody. And to accommodate all this new technology, an investment was made in the high school and all of our elementary schools to be retrofitted with the latest wireless technology. As I have said before, you've heard me say this many times, the success of our city depends on the safety of our citizens. Last year we made a substantial investment in public safety by adding additional firefighters to the ranks to ensure that each of our five stations has a minimum of three firefighters on duty at all times. This helps better protect our residents and their property and it helps better protect our firefighters. Thanks to Fire Chief Steve Pazden for working with me and the City Council on this important initiative. Recently, the Massachusetts Police Accreditation Commission awarded the Peabody Police Department accreditation status for the seventh consecutive assessment. Achieving accreditation from the Massachusetts Police Accreditation Commission is considered a very significant accomplishment. It is a recognition that is highly viewed by the local enforcement community. It demonstrates professional excellence and is a tribute to the hard work of all of our police officers and support personnel. I want to recognize Police Chief Tom Griffin for his leadership. Thank you, Chief. This fall, which was one of really the most, one of the most remarkable days that I remember uh, serving as an elected official. Our community came together to show our respect and eternal gratitude to our police officers and firefighters when we dedicated the beautiful new Peabody Public Safety Memorial near Emerson Park. It stands to honor the dedication and sacrifice of those who serve, those who once served, and those who will serve this great city of Peabody in the years to come. And it will be a great source of pride for generation generations of Peabody residents. Our commitment to public safety continues to yield tangible results. Just last week, Peabody was named among the top 30 safest cities in America by Safe Home, an organization that analyzes FBI, FBI crime statistics for America's cities and towns. It was a study done for cities over 50,000 people. We were one of uh, nine Massachusetts cities and we were third, the third Massachusetts city to be recognized behind New <laughs> And to further safeguard our community, I will once again petition the city council to pass a ban on recreational pot shops in the city of Peabody. Although I support the city council's medical marijuana zoning ordinance, we must make a clear distinction between medicinal and retail marijuana operations. Medicinal marijuana operations are in distinct buildings, set away from neighborhoods and schools, and is protected by professional security personnel. Patients require state-issued identification and a doctor's prescription to purchase the drug. Retail marijuana outlets, on the other hand, rely on walk-in business and market their product aggressively in full sight of passersby. Passers 
including children. In the midst of an opioid epidemic that has destroyed count countless lives, and with the dangers to our children, with, and with, excuse me, and with dangers our children already face online and elsewhere in a troubled world, why create another threat? Is this what we want as a community? The answer to me is a clear and resounding no. Our residents. Thank you. Our residents deserve better. Our families deserve better. Peabody deserves better. A majority of Peabody voters opposed legalizing recreational marijuana just 14 months ago. I urge the City Council to approve a ban on retail marijuana and keep pot shops out of Peabody neighborhoods. Quality of life issues continue to be chief among my highest priorities as mayor. By modernizing our aging infrastructure, creating new open space and recreational opportunities, and providing the core municipal services that taxpayers expect, we help make Peabody an even more, desi more desirable destination for families and businesses. I am very happy to announce this evening that Peabody has been approved as eligible to receive nearly $10 million in state and federal funds to rebuild the entire Central Street Corridor, beginning at its intersection with Walnut Street and continuing through to Wilson Square. The project includes new road surface and sidewalks, crosswalks and traffic signals, and modern landscape and design amenities. It will improve traffic flow, accessibility, and the safety and quality of life in tens of thousands of Peabody residents. Yep. In 2018, we also plan to embark upon the Route 1 Water Quality and Drainage Improvement Project, which will replace outdated 6-inch water mains with new 12-inch water mains. This project will improve drainage throughout the area and help alleviate the low water pressure issues that have long plagued several Peabody neighborhoods located near the Route 1 corridor. Also this year, we will review plans to expand the Peter A. Teregian Senior Center to provide additional classroom space for adult learners. As you all know, the Senior Center is a hub for thousands of older residents and has long been the envy of the entire North Shore region. From transportation to meals to social services to our Adult Day Health Center, the Senior Center and its dedicated staff and volunteers are a big part of what makes Peabody special. And foremost among the reasons why Peabody was designated an age-friendly community by the World Health Organization and the AARP of Massachusetts, one of only nine Massachusetts cities to receive this coveted distinction. I am happy to report that phase one of the Crystal Lake Restoration and Beautification Project is complete. Some 40,000 cubic yards of sediment was removed from the lake basin, restoring the water to its natural flow and clarity. People now know why it's called Crystal Lake. Phase two begins this spring and includes the installation of a spray fountain, a fishing and boating dock, paddle boats, picnic tables, and other amenities to help make the area an inviting destination for Peabody residents. For the fifth consecutive year, Peabody is being honored with the Playful City USA designation for our commitment to improving two city parks each year. In the past six years, we have made significant enhancements to MacArthur, Radden, James Street, Corbeil, Symphony, Lakeshore, Lalikos, and Farnham Parks, with more on the way. In speaking of parks, I am very happy to announce that the Peabody Dog Park will open in 2018 on Perkins Street, across from Coach Bob Driscoll's old-time skating rink. A good quality of life includes getting good value for our tax dollars. As mayor, I am committed to maintaining Peabody's affordability while still delivering the core municipal services that residents demand and expect. Although our budget obligations have increased, we are still able to invest in Peabody's future thanks to our city's financial strength and the strong partnership my administration has established with our city council. Our sound fiscal management continues to pay significant dividends for our city. Our bond rating remains high 
is thanks in part to our healthy reserves and excess levy capacity. For the third year in a row, our average residential home value has increased. Last year, Peabody home values increased by an average of 6.7% and are projected to increase this year by another 5%. Peabody is a desirable place to live because homeowners get exceptional value for their tax dollar. While our residents enjoy a level of municipal services which meet or exceed those of nearby cities and towns, they benefit from property tax bills that are on average hundreds and even thousands of dollars less than those neighboring communities. In fact, once again this year, Peabody homeowners will have among the lowest residential tax burdens in all of Massachusetts. In fact, we have the lowest in Essex County. The lowest city, I should say. For some reason, Salisbury still has a beat, but we're working on that. In closing, I want to express my sincere gratitude to so many of you here tonight and across our great city for supporting a bold, ambitious, optimistic, courageous, problem-solving vision for a better Peabody. I am committed to continuing our remarkable progress in 2018 and beyond. Thank you for your support, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for the city of Peabody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do the closing prayer, Rabbi Richard Perlman, Temple Near Dimit. As I began this evening, I talked to you about the warming temperatures, and our prayers were answered as the temperatures rose. However, we always have to be careful what we pray for, because with the rising temperatures, the flooded basements, the flooded streets, the traffic incidents, but God blessed Peabody with the fire, the public works, and the police, and all those of you who lead and work in this community, we can handle it. And so God, thank you for bringing us this beautiful city. Eight days into this new year, eight days into a new year, so much to be thankful for. We pray that this time of year be a time of reflection, where we have been this past year and where we will go now in this new year. May we be blessed with physical vitality as we earn our livelihoods. May we and our families suffer no misfortune, physical or emotional, as time unfolds. May our attitudes always be positive and our lives be purposeful. May we find the time to render the good deed and speak the kind word. May we be granted the wisdom to pursue life, liberty, and happiness, not only for ourselves, but for all. May our community be enriched by diversity as neighbors representing so many different walks of life interact with each other. May our community remain one and indivisible, liberated and honest. And may our leaders be inspired not only by their acts of the so many noble men and women who have preceded them, but by the God of the universe who wants us all, all to live in shalom, all to live in peace. With those words, I say amen and wish you all a happy, healthy new year. Make a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and I'd like for all of you to stay. We have some refreshments and uh, a little reception. Thank you. <laughs>